guys. How are you all? It's me, Rob, from Boston. Um, haven't made a video in a while, and I really wanted to touch base with my friends, the vinyl community. Uh, I have a few things to show you. Uh, a few things of interest. Here, I just want to first say that I hope everyone's having a fantastic summer, an endless summer. Uh, I love love the season, and I wanted to thank a few people in the vinyl community. Um, uh, young man Luke, uh, Vinyl Flesh, and Gary Sun Dodger. I also want to touch upon Facebook, and uh, I wanted to touch upon. Um, well, no, I wanted to, uh, yeah, my subscribers, you know, I never thank any of my subscribers, so I want to thank everybody, and I, a few people have asked me to, you know, why I haven't posted in a while, and I just wanted to say that I really, I have been buying stuff, not a lot, once in a while I get out there, most of the time I'm at the beach. Uh, during the summer, you know, enjoying the weather, doing side jobs outside. Um, so, you know, I don't buy as many records, but, um, yeah, uh, forget where I was going with this. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't, I haven't been posting as much, so I apologize, and I just hope you enjoy, you know, when I do make a video like this, I hope you enjoy it. So, um, let's get started, all right? Uh, so many great, great videos I've been watching and catching up on the Facebook page, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. I want to say thank you to Luke, Vinyl Flesh, Vinyl Flesh, a young man that I really like. Uh, quiet, quiet guy. You know, i got to struggle to get words out of him in conversation, comments, whatever, but he sent me this out of the blue, um, and I liked it a real lot. Um, I think he showed it a while back in one of his videos, Street Lamps for Spotlights. And um, I just wanted to say that I really appreciated this loop. You know, that was really nice of you to do. Send it, you know, out of the blue like that. And you are on my list for people that I'm sending stuff back to. So thanks, buddy. Um, and also Gary, Sun Dodger, uh, he had written to me a while back and he said, Rob, um... I bumped into uh, some Morrissey 12 inch. Are you interested? So I said, sure. And uh, naturally, no, like, I wouldn't say, no, I'm not interested in Morrissey stuff at all, no. But I have two of these out of the three, but um, I bought them anyway because they're in pristine condition. And uh, let me show them. He got me, uh, you got me, this was the bags I was showing at the beginning. I love bags. I collect record bags too. This is Jive Time Records and also uh, Easy Street Records in Seattle. So I was appreciative of those. And um, he sent me Ouija Board. And these were a fantastic price. This has, uh, yeah, Yes I Am Blind and uh, East West on it. East West is a T Rex song, uh, if you remember. Excellent version of it. So that was nice. And also, interesting drug. I think uh, such a little thing makes a big difference is on the B side of this. These are spun 45 RPM too, which is nice. Um, yeah, last of the famous international playboys with Lucky Lisp and Michael's Bones. Let me put on some music. Do my excellent DJ work here. But uh, yeah, these were in pristine condition. Uh, they were all on sire. And yeah, they are, this one's 33 and a third, but I think I don't know, one of them I think is spun 45. So thank you, Gary. You are the man, I really appreciate it. But knowing Gary, you know, he wasn't just going to send me three records. I actually bought them from Gary, and they were really reasonable. But uh, in the package, he also sent me a cool sticker from Jive Time. He sent me this Stones 7 inch, which is the cover Far Away Eyes and Miss You. So maybe he thought I, I needed that cover, but, you know, hey, I'll keep it. It's cool. 
Um, and he also sent me a note, which is nice. And then I'll show this. So Robert Plant, little by little, 12 inch, and I didn't have this. So Gary, you must be reading my mind. I think this has some of the, yeah, it has some of the live 1985 tool we, that he did with, um, uh, we did the project with uh, the Honey Drippers, you know, and it's rocking at midnight. Six and sevens is off um, the third release that Steven in the UK showed recently, and he said he didn't really like it, the third solo album, Shaken and Stirred. But I really appreciate it, Gary, and also this 10-inch, which is going to lead me into my later, last half of the video. Uh, oh, oh yeah. I forgot to say that the Morrisseys, I, I got some of the Blake sleeves, the flapless ones, and they're kind of neat. You know, you just put it in like so. I also got the seven inch flap ones too. I should do a video on those too. But uh, they're really easy to use and they fit perfectly and they make your records look really nice. So everything I say I'm going to do a video on, I never end up doing a video on. But yeah, this is a 10 inch you sent me. Outstanding, okay? And I say that not lightly. Outstanding, outstanding. Heavily. Uh, it's called guillotine, right? Um, I was kind of confused when I saw it. And then when I started to read it and saw the bands that were on it, uh, the motors, penetration, the table, Avant Gardena, XTC, Rocky Erickson, Poet in the Roots and the X-Ray Specs. I mean, that's fantastic. Uh, on Virgin. So, oh, also, it comes with this poster. Check that out. I mean, that is so cool. Just, that would be perfect to frame. So, he said it in the, in the note that it was one of his favorite 10 inches ever. And it's outstanding. I listened to some, I love the band The Motors. Um, all the bands in this, except for maybe two I wasn't familiar with, but, um, Gary, that was really nice of you, and you were also on my list now, people I'm getting back to, sending stuff back to, I'm almost complete with, uh, Kevin's Doc Strangely Strange, I haven't heard from you, I sent you a couple of notes, um, I hope everything's okay, I sent you one last night, um, but I almost got his ready, and I got one more ready, too. Almost. Polly Walnuts, I don't know where you are, but um, working on yours, too. So, this leads me into the last half of my video. Um, which is my 10-inch. I figured I'd show a few of my 10-inch records. Love this song. This is one drop, Bob Molly. So, yeah. Uh, this is the idea I... I, I uh, I came across, I, I worked on, I, I put some backings to a few cobwebs, and I'm just sliding the record in using the new 12 inch flapless sleeves. This is, um, this is Eagles of Death Metal, Wanna Be in LA, it's a 10 inch, it's a promotional thing, and I just put the decoration behind it. I think I showed this in my last video, but I wanted to show it in more, a little more detail. This is a, a, an extra... 12 inch that came with um, my uh, Anthony and the John Anthony and the Johnsons. Twin uh, 10 inch. This is I don't know why I'm messing up my words. Swan lights. But uh, they gave what they did was this was a record store day release and they misprinted the uh, clear vinyl and they put another one in with it so you've got the one they messed up and also the repress the corrected one so i took i took this one and i put it in here and i'll probably just put this in the back like with the sleeve like so and it's a way to shelf it's a way to kind of shelf my 10 inch record it's a little neater a little cooler um, I put the movies, this was a thing I had laying around, it's got all the old movies, I put that in the background, so that's that, you're probably thinking, is this guy crazy, it's the stupidest thing I ever saw, but it actually helps shelf the records, the 10 inch records a little better, it makes it look like 12 inch records, it kind of looks cool in the shelf, 
And also, the Morrissey one that Kevin sent me, Doc Strangely Strange, um, from Record Store Day. I put this Morrissey in the background. I took a couple of pictures from an old calendar I had, and I cut them down and put them in this. So it kind of looks like this. Or it was supposed to look like, you know, it was supposed to look like his eye was looking out over here and his head was looking out over the record, but... So, that's that. So if anyone wants to find an idea, or uh, just get a couple of those brown cardboards, put it in a sleeve, and throw your tenant records in front. And I just thought I'd show some other tenant records I have from Record Store Day. I got the Beach Boys, Smile, you know, it has the two different things. This has been shown before, and it's numbered. 6573. Also, I had the Springsteen one from Record Store Day. And this, oh, the Townsend one. This was sent to me by Zip Tie. Um, my friend out in California that I haven't seen, talked to in a while, Sean. I hope the Record Store is doing well. And then this other Springsteen one. I think that was a Record Store Day release, too. And that's also William Burroughs and Kurt Cobain. Priest, uh, they called him. Kind of wild if you ever heard this. And I got a few uh, scattered ones before I may have shown. I have a few of these old 10 inch. This is You Were Meant For Me from an old movie, an old Cary Grant movie on the Temple label. And then uh, I have this Morrissey uh, promotional on his master's voice for uh, We Hate It When Our Friends Become Successful. That's really hard to find. It's kind of expensive. If you can find it. But anyway, that's my update. And I want to show some 7-inch singles. But I also wanted, I'm already on 12 minutes. I just wanted to say the Facebook community. You know, I made a little co a few comments on how I was worried that it was going to take away from the, the, the videos, vinyl community. But it hasn't. I mean, it's a great place for people to get together and talk and get to know each other better. So I joined and I'm kind of edging my way in. I'm still a little foreign when it comes to Facebook. And I don't really, I'm not really good at uh, instant messaging, so uh, I tend to leave comments and, and check out everyone's posts and stuff. But you know, as long as the as long as the uh, videos are still being made and people are enjoying themselves, I think it's great. You know, vinyl community is a wonderful place, and it, it can only get better. And the people in it is what makes it so great. You know. So, Mark, I thought about what you said, Dr. D. I appreciate you talking to me. And um, also, I want to say, Jeff Glone Cabbage, um, I appreciate you telling me how to slow down in my videos and kind of do a little better. Maybe they'll come out a little better instead of rushing them. And everybody else, you know, Mark, Mark and Sam, you know, good luck with your new fanzine. There's so many things out there. Derek with Derek 2, uh, Stephanie's artwork. Uh, I saw Jen's new post, LJ's set community. There's so many people that I'd like to name right now, but I will do that in my next video. Until then, thank you for watching this one, everybody. Enjoy your summer. And uh, get out there and get some sun and get to the beach. Love you all very much with all my heart and soul. Bye-bye.